How's it going everybody? Thanks for watching another video. So today we're going to continue having a look back at some of my best travel videos. Now if you didn't see the last one I posted, I'll leave a link for it right up here. We visited Page, Arizona, visited Horseshoe Bend and Lower Antelope Canyon. Today we're going to keep it in Arizona, but we're going to visit the spiritual Sedona. And remember guys, if you're running out of things to watch here on YouTube or even Netflix, click on my channel icon so you can check out the different videos in my playlist. Pulled over on the side of the road because we saw this picnic area and we heard the loud noise of water rushing down. It got heavy rain that just came through. Woo! Oh, and I don't know if you guys can see it, but there is a suspension bridge kind of like right here. Let me see if I can get on that. All right, we pulled over the side of the road on the way out, spotted this bridge here. Make sure I close that gate. Good old suspension bridge. Woo -hoo -hoo. I don't know where that goes. Just want to get a shot of that. Cool, man. Oh my god, we made another stop. Mid Migley Bridge. Let's go see what that's about. Oh, that's pretty cool. So you cross that bridge to get into Sedona. I think there's a hike that goes back up that way. Right up there, I think there's a trail. Hmm. I think there's something down there. Go check that out real quick. Cool. Don't see many of these in Hawaii. All right, there's a different shot of the bridge and the creek that runs through it. Oh, I'm sorry, the river that runs through it. Check that out. See it already. All right, we're going to be taking a couple of shots of Uptown Sedona. This is where most of the shops and restaurants are. Where we're staying at, the Sedona Summit is, I guess, downtown Sedona. Not a lot there. So let's go check it out. So if you had to divide Sedona into two, this is Uptown. It's the touristy part. But check out these views. I mean, just towering buttes, steep canyon drop-offs, and just pine forests for days all over the place. Just natural beauty everywhere. Now, we arrived really late at night through some snow, some strange Scooby-Doo fog was rolling in. So we didn't get to see any of this as we were going through. When we got up in the morning, it was like one of those great Christmas gifts. Like, man, check out this place. It's incredible. Off the main strip in Sedona are tons of these free public parking areas. And that's the view. I'll show you what it looks like in there. But what's cool is they got these little counters in there. So I don't know if you guys can see that, but that says 111. When I went in, it said 113. So it tells you exactly how many spaces are in each public parking area. Let's have a look inside. All right, here is the view from one of the free parking lots in back of the Sedona Strip. Many lots, many stalls. So if you don't feel like paying the two bucks for parking per hour or whatever, get the free parking. All right, I'm not too sure how many parking lots there are, but I'm in lot five and... It's all day parking. If I had to summarize Sedona, Arizona in one word, it would be spiritual, okay? And never mind all of the great art galleries there that might seem artsy fartsy, because Sedona's known for their art galleries. Never mind the psychic readings, never mind the let me read your aura, candle stores, oil burning stores, hemp stores, never mind all of that. Take all of that away, and just being in uptown or downtown Sedona makes you feel better. And it might have to do something with those vortexes. There's four major vortexes in Sedona. I went to Cathedral Rock. If you haven't seen that video, I'll leave a link for it on the upper right-hand corner. But there's also Bell Rock, Boynton Canyon, and the Airport Mesa. These are all supposed to be areas of really high spiritual energy. People go there to meditate, feel better. I didn't feel anything crazy, but I just felt good to be around that type of atmosphere. 
Now, Uptown has plenty of places like that. Hypnotherapy, acupuncture, it's all there. If you ask me what type of atmosphere it is shopping-wise, it's like the old school Waikiki in the international marketplace. Tons of little areas to go to. Now, if you're looking for some place to stay, you can stay Uptown or Downtown. There's plenty of places to stay. Everything closes early, nine o'clock on the weekdays, 10 o'clock on the weekends. I think on the weekends, Safeway closes at 11 and McDonald's. No, McDonald's in downtown Sedona is home of one of the strangest colored McDonald's I have ever seen. All right, so as you're passing through Sedona, you're gonna notice this thing right back here. That's right, that's a green arch for McDonald's. I guess they said that if you're gonna come in here, we don't want you messing around with the color scheme of our environment. So they said it has to be green, it can't be yellow. Let me flip you guys around so you can see this gigantic green M. All right guys, there you go, green arches.